Hi, everyone. Some people will solve this math problem so wrong. They'll subtract 5 minus 5, which is 0. So they'll write 0. Then bring down the times 2, the division symbol down, and then the 4 down. And then they multiply 0 times 2, which equals 2. I'm sorry, 0. <laughs> and then they'll bring down the division symbol down, and then the 4 down. And then they'll... Uh, divide 0 divided by 4, which equals 0. And to them, this is the answer, and this is so wrong. Let me show you how to solve this math problem correctly. They did not use PAMDAS, and PAMDAS is telling me that 5 times 2 goes first, not 5 minus 5. So, what is 5 times 2? 10. So I'll write the 10. Bring down the 5 minus the division symbol down and the 4 down. Now we're looking at 5 minus 10 divided by 4. And PAMDAS is telling me that 10 divided by 4 goes first, not 5 minus 10. So let's write the 10 divided by 4 in a fraction form to make the math easy. So I write 10 over 4. And then let's bring down the 5 in a fraction form to make the math easy. So let's write it like this, 5 over 1. And so we all know that 5 over 1 equals 5 does not change to 5. And then bring down the subtraction symbol down. And now we're looking at 5 over 1 minus 10 over 4. So we're going to use the butterfly method. And the butterfly method, we need to draw two wings, a body, and some antennas. So I'm going to draw the first wing like this. And we multiply 5 times 4, or 4 times 5. And that equals 20. And we need to draw the antenna first, or second, and write the 20 above like this, like that. Next, we draw the next wing, like this, and we multiply 1 times 10, or 10 times 1, which equals 10. So I draw the second antenna, and write the 10 right here. And so now we can subtract 20 minus 10, which equals what? 10. But let's do some subtraction to make the math fun here. So 20 minus 10. So it's 10, right? All right, so that will go up here, the 10. That is the numerator above the fraction bar there. And then we have to make the body. So that's the body. And we multiply 1 times 4, or 4 times 1 equals 4. And that will go down here below the fraction bar. And that is called the denominator. And so now we have... 10 over 4. And by the way, we are going to get the um, whole number, well, sorry, the mixed number answer. And I keep calling that whole number for some reason. But no, it's, it, it does contain a whole number and a proper fraction next to it. It's called a mixed number. But we also got to get a decimal answer using long division. So let's go ahead and break this down to a simplest form, 10 over 4. So let's just have them because both numbers are even, so I'll do this like that. So 10 divided by 2 equals 5, and half of 4 is 2. And you can't break this down to, that's it, this is it. You can't break this down more, that's it. So you have your improper fraction answer, so I'll box that up for you, 5 over 2. But let's go ahead and get a, I keep saying, I almost said it, whole number. Let's get a mixed number answer and a decimal answer using long division. So this is the long division symbol. And the 5 goes inside. That is the dividend. And the 2 goes outside. That is called the divisor. So how many times can 2 fit into 5? 2, right? So I'll write 2. And then we multiply 2 times 2 equals 4, and we subtract 5 minus 4 equals 1. So now we can write our mixed number answer. So the 2 will be the whole number, 
and the proper fraction, we get the remainder that goes above the fraction bar. That's called the, the numer numerator. And write the denominator. That's coming from this 2. Um, so write it there. Or it comes from this divisor or denominator. And this will be your mixed number answer. Let's go ahead and continue the long division to get our decimal. And, and, and I know it's 2.5, but let's continue the long division to finish our math. Make math fun, right? So, all right. So how many times can two fit into one? You cannot, so we need to borrow. So I write the decimal after the five and a decimal after the two. We write the zero there. We bring it down, give that zero to the one. Now the one becomes a 10. How many times can two fit into five? How many times can two fit into 10? Five. And five times two equals 10. And we subtract 10 minus 10 equals zero. So that's how you get your 2.5 as the answer. And I'll write it here. 2.5. And I'll box that up for you. Look at that. We have three different answers. Two, one half. 5 over 2, and 2.5. And there you go. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to join the smartest community on YouTube. And some of you are probably wondering, how do you pronounce your name, uh, YouTuber? Uh, you pronounce it by saying, Jensen. Jensen explains. There, there you go. You, have a, you get a happy face there. Let me write your happy face. Here. There you go. And there you go. All right. Uh, Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.